As anyone who watches my channel will quickly find out, I'm a huge fan of dinosaur games. I play Para World, Ark, Jurassic Minecraft, Zoo Tycoons 1 and 2, uh, Dino System, Orion, Dino Order, whatever they're calling it these days, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, and even a tiny bit of Dino D-Day when it decides it wants to run. But I'm not here to talk about those. I'm here to talk about the new one that's going to be coming out on the 12th. That is Jurassic World Evolution, a park management game taking place in the titler or titler or however it's pronounced, Jurassic World. I'm totally excited for it and am totally going to live stream the hell out of it when it comes out on June 12th uh, as someone who's done absolutely no research on it because I want to go in completely blind. I have a lot of expectations. Uh, for what a Jurassic World park builder would be like. But there's this one major feature that I'm really looking for in the game. It's about Jurassic Park as a franchise, and it's uh, it's one of the main problems that I have with uh, most park management games that I've been playing. Uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis did a pretty good job with this, but it's still not what, exactly what I was looking for. You see, Jurassic Park is a franchise that is all centered around one grand lesson, that humanity attempts to control nature are fruitless. Life cannot be contained. Life finds a way. I've only ever seen this to its fullest extent in this one management game that I played a while ago, and still play sometimes, called a Dwarf Fortress. It's a free RTS management game where the player helps a group of dwarves build a fortress. The game is built upon layers upon layers of systems that determine everything from the events of ancient history to how a dwarf reacts to seeing his mother dancing lewdly with his best friend. Anyway, this incredibly complex game has no end condition. The game ends when your fortress fails, and there's so many things going on in such a deep game, your fortress will fail. It's an eventuality, the expected final outcome of Dwarf Fortress. The uncontrollable assets, outside powers, illness, even the madness of your own dwarves will eventually overtake even the most meticulously thought out security measure. And this is what I'm looking for in Jurassic World Evolution, a game where we try and fail to contain life. Jurassic Park and Jurassic World are parks that were never built for success. They were built by hopeful billionaires and stubborn scientists who knew that their designs were perfect, except for where they weren't, and knew that their systems would never fail, except for when they did. This is what I want out of Jurassic World Evolution. I want to build a supermassive park filled with rides and dinosaurs and grow thoughtfully and slowly around more complex systems or throw around the world perfect, the word perfect like a business mogul too wrapped in his own brilliance to see the big picture. And I want to either fall with grace, evacuate all of your park guests, and leave with a giant pile of money, or trip down a flight of stairs into a pile of tattered carcasses that were my park guests five minutes ago. So that's what I want out of Jurassic World. I want to build with passion and fall with dignity. I mean, I also want to remake the Battle of um, Eleanor Fields, but replace the horses with carnivores and replace uh, all the orcs with screaming tourist children, but... I'm going to play it a couple times before I try doing that. 